as we are in progress to learn blade templates this is the part 2 of the blade video so in this video we will be learning about different types of loops that we are having in laravel and also how to use them in your project so watch the video till the end as this is an important part so stay tuned Hey guys, this is Neha from Webstack. Welcome to another video on Laravel series. Before getting started, if you are new here, make sure you click on that subscribe button and do hit the bell icon to get all the latest videos from me. So in the last video, we have already uh, checked out the if statement and else if directive as well. And then we have also checked else also unless directive. So now in this video, we will see the loops and first of all, we will check out the for loop, which is really very common. So if I just write it in below this, so I'll just write a for loop here. So you need to write the at the rate directive every time. So it's simple, uh, like you write it any other language. So you need to write it in the same way. So I'll write at the rate for and then dollar i equals to zero. And then you need to write dollar i, let's say less than five, and then dollar i plus plus. So this is a simple for loop, and then you need to end this as well. So I'll just write end for and inside it, let's print something very simple. Let's say this is product and then let's try to print this dollar i so let's close this paragraph tag and save it so this is simply the for loop and now let's try to run the server if i write php artisan serve it will actually start the server on some port that is 8000 and if i just open this here like 127 like this so it will open the home page and now if i click on the products page you can check out that it is writing this is product 0 1 2 3 and 4 so this is how you will write the for loop and I, it's very simple i guess and the next thing we have is let's say let me open a file called web.php so now as you can see in this web.php we are passing in the products page something like dollar product which is actually an associative array so what if i want to pass uh, multiple products inside this uh, products page so that means i want to pass laptop mobile phone tablet desktop so these products I need to send. So how to send them is you can create a array of array here. So what I can do is I can just copy paste this and remove the semicolon just like this. Again a comma and then you need to write the copy paste it again and embed it inside another array. So this is basically your array of array uh, like this. That's how you create and pass multiple products to the web page. So let's just change it here and write it here as mobile and this as tablet. So here I'll write the mobile is MI brand and then for tablet it is say Apple. And the price of the MI is say 40,000 and for Apple say 70,000. Uh, for the laptop, let me write it as 50,000. So now this is the product array of arrays which we are going to pass on this page called products. And we pass this array in the form of an array again that is a key value pair. So I need to write here the key, let's say products. And then the value will be this variable that is array of arrays that is called dollar product. So I'll write here dollar product and oops, it's product. 
So that's it and now we are passing this array of arrays inside this page with the help of this key and the value it takes it this array of arrays. So now in the products page that is blade page what I need to write is I need to write a for loop and I need to loop through all these products and display the names or brands or price. So to do that let's first clear this out. So let's just clear the space by commenting it. So to comment in anything in Laravel you just need to write this double curly braces and then you need to give this two hyphens and after that where you want to end it you need to give again these two uh, hyphens and then this curly braces. This will actually comment out all this portion that we have done in the last videos. So now I will be writing the for loop. So let's write at the rate for and then dollar i I will be using started from zero and then I'll say dollar i less than uh, so we need to uh, see how many products we are passing. Right now we are passing three products into this array. So but it cannot be uh, fixed right. So we need to write something which will actually count it. So we have a function for it known as count and then we will pass inside it the key that we are passing in this view. So we are passing products. So I will be using dollar products. And that's it. It will count the number of products they are having and then we will write dollar i plus plus after a semicolon. This is how you will write the for loop and then we will write end for. This is very important. And now what you need to do is we need to print something. So this dollar i is actually storing the index and we have this products as a key. So in this key the first value that will come is this first array. So for this array what you need to do is I need to write dollar products and then because it's an array you need to write the index for it. So the index is represented by dollar i and now you know that is it is a 2d array or you can say it is an array of array. So the first that is the zeroth element is this one and inside this Let's try to print the name of the product. So I will be writing here as one more like this and then we will give the name. So this is how you write an associative array and write it inside these double curly braces so that it gets printed in blade. So now let's save it and again we will just write this and go to the products page there you go now you can check out the name of all the products that we are having you can also print out the other things as well like if i print something called the brand as well so what i need to write is i need to write the dollar products and then inside it dollar i and then you will print let's say price i want to print the price and that's it. You can write it like a hyphen hyphen here just to show some space between the attributes. If you want you can put a break here. Let's save it now and then just go on refreshing the page. Oops uh, it gave me an error. Okay I have misspelled the uh, attribute name that is price. So let's refresh it again. And now you can check laptop, 50,000 mobile and tablet. Now certainly this is a tedious task to do for writing the count every time and then displaying it. So instead of this, uh, the most efficient loop that we are going to use in the complete series is called for each loop. So I'll just comment this out for you guys and let me write it here. Now I will be using the for each loop and you will find it really easy. So I'll just write for each and inside this what you need to write is for each product that that means you need to write this key as a variable here. So for each dollar products then you have to write as that means alias name a shortcut name that you can use. So let's write dollar p. So what actually is getting stored in dollar p is the products, this products is actually this array of arrays 
and when you take each value of this product so it will fetch this first value for the very first time and it will store it inside dollar p so in each iteration it is actually storing the sub array into this dollar p so now i just write end for each and you do not need to write now the dollar i or the index you just need to write this curly braces and dollar p and then you need to provide which attribute you want to print like you want to print the name or title or anything else so this is actually an array so we will write here name so it will actually gonna print the name of the product so let's check it out first refresh the page yes you can check that it is printing again the names so if i want to print all the details so what i can do is i can just write hyphen hyphen here and then here we can write dollar p and you can see it's very easy we do not need to write any 2d array or something like that so you just need to write the brand and then just copy paste this and then you need to write the price of the product so now if i refresh the page again you can check that we have all the values the brand the name as well as the price you can also give it a beautiful break here so that it appears in the next lines oops now just refresh the page again and you can check out that all the products are being displayed with the details that you want to have so no matter how many products you are having in this array you are going to obviously fetch it on the web page using simply a for each loop so you will be using it in the database soon in the series so if you want to check out the syntaxes for these loops that i have discussed you can always recommend this uh, documentation provided by laravel check out these syntaxes uh, we they also have the while loop you can try this by yourself so that's it for this video guys if you like the content please hit that like button so that it gets into the loop of the algorithm and it reaches out to all the users out there hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get all the latest videos from me so see you in the next video